Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios and welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to show you on how to install Platonium for Modern Warfare 3. I know that a lot of people have been waiting for this for a very long time and I know that there's going to be people out there very confused on how to install um, Platonium for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, I want to put a disclaimer that by the time this video is out, um, Platonium is still in beta, so there are test servers and they're trying to get everything out, the kinks worked out, and hopefully modders can join in on the fun and create mods for the client. This is absolutely free, so you don't have to pay for anything. All you have to do is get the actual physical game, which you can get on Steam, which I would highly recommend you either getting it from Steam or just from a third-party website, just as, such as D2A, which I got my copy from. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to set this up, and hopefully you guys can do the same for your for anyone else. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to head over to your browser, and you'll need to first go to this link. I'll have this link in the description, so you guys can definitely check it out. And I'm going to explain to you how this works. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to copy and copy and paste this this link into your URL browser, what will happen is when you click it, it's going to ask you, I would highly recommend doing this on Google Chrome, it's going to ask you open clean clients to um, bootstrapper and I already have this installed so I don't really need to do this. So once you click open bootstrapper, it's going to ask you to download a dedicated server add-on. So you need to install this like 5 megabytes so it's not really, you know, a big, big download. Um, so once you actually have that installed, you need to have make sure you have the game installed before you install this. So and you have everything set up, so you you're pretty much you know this is how everything how IW will function. Once you get this all set up, you're ready to install um, Platinum. So you'll need to go to this this link, and this link is the link that you can get the game from. So what you'll need to do is head over to this link right here, and either open it, open in a new tab. If it, it will give you an error, like some, it will say your internet saying, "Oh, you know this is wrong," etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or you know malware detecting, etc., etc. Just proceed and just skip it. It's fine and it's and it, it's all it's all right. Um, so uh, once you actually have that downloaded, I would highly suggest before setting everything up, make sure you create an account. I already have my account already. Um, make sure you register your account and you confirm the email. This is the way how you have to do it in order to log in when you get everything set up. So what you'll need to do is that once you actually download the game, you you can also look up on the page for information, additional information if you really need to. So I'm going to explain to you how it works. So first thing you need to do is you need to open your your, your directory. You can either search up by by um, um, but either click and run or just searching. So how do you do this? You'll go into your local disk. You'll go into program files 86. You go into uh, when you go into Steam, you'll have to find a folder called Steam Apps. If you don't see this folder, then there's something that you're missing. Um, then you know, Steam Apps, you're going to see go for this folder named Common, and in this folder, you're going to see all the available games that you have currently installed that are installed by Steam, no nothing else. And you'll need to find the Modern Warfare 3 folder. Once you actually do, make sure you open another window to Downloads. And you'll need to open see this window. As you can see, I already have Plutonium here. You want to make sure you can copy that Plutonium um, EXE to your Modern Warfare 3 folder. And because that's where all the files are going to be stored at. You don't want to, you don't want to lose that all. <laughs> so... Once you actually get that copied, all you have to do is you have to make sure that this is accepted to your firewall. So if you're on Windows 10, it's pretty much simple. What you'll need to do is head over to your little bottom cruiser here, go over your security to, to your antivirus, and go to view security dashboard. Head over to firewall and network protection, and you will also need to go select this little link here. It says allow an app through firewall. Once you actually select this, click change settings because you'll need it to change anything here. Once you actually do that, all you have to do, 
um, is, is click on allow another app, br browse, and do the same way as if you were looking for the Monoware Fair 3 folder. And what you need to do is click on Plutonium. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it. And as you can see, I can show you guys that I've done it. Uh, let me find it. There we go. I have it right here, and I also have this right here. This will ask this. These will ask you um, to access, you know, to allow firewall access. You can just can do this pretty much after it'll ask you, so you don't have to worry. Just make sure you allow it. Uh, once you actually do that, you can exit all of this, and I would highly suggest to click right and send to your desktop to make a a shortcut, so you don't have to come consistently always to the Mono Warfare 3 folder and you can just launch it from the desktop. So how you run this is basically when you first run it you'll need to run it in administrator mode. So when you're first to run this it's going to go into a somewhat of an install process as you see right here. If you don't instant put it as run it as an administrator you may get an error. So once you actually since it's all finished you'll see this screen pop up and this is where you log in with your login information and this is where I told you earlier you'll need to create a Plutonium account and it's completely free to sign up all you need is an email a password and a username that you really want to use um, so yeah so once you actually have an account and you you first sign up you first sign in you're going to be when you're first going here you're going to be asked hey to allow you know you know file uh, you know framework so what you'll need to do is that there will be a there will be a, set, a button right here from Modern Warfare 3 called setup it won't say play but it'll say setup all you need to do is you need to set the directory to where the folder of Modern Warfare 3 is held and you don't need to put the exe just put the folder uh, and that's where I have where I showed you the path that you need to go for to put Plutonium. Same way, once it actually does it, all you have to do is click play, and it's going to attempt to launch the game. I want to keep. I, I want to put a little information out there. Let's let's just finish. It's already, already up, but because the the the, the sound kind of goes over my voice, and I don't want to do that. So, um, and even though you guys can't hear it, I can hear it. Um, so, once you actually, you should see that that it boots up correctly. However, in the notes in the in, on IW5, it does state that when you first launch it for the first time, it's going to crash. That is perfectly normal. All you have to do is run it again, and it will work the second time. I have actually ha encountered for my first encountered the the crash for the first time. I was like, wait, what? Did I do something wrong? And I re I reread the the post, and it did say it is normal for plutonium to crash for the first time but once you run it after that and so on and so on you shouldn't see, um, see that crash it's just as I said it's pretty much normal um, um, it's pretty much um, pretty simple if you have some issues with Windows Defender or something like that you can run this file I don't I didn't have any issues with Windows Defender um, so I didn't really need this I just ran this and boom it was pretty much simple but this is for those who you run this if you having some issues with your antivirus or Windows Defender um, but pretty much it once you actually once you get everything set up if you haven't confirmed your email I want to make sure it very clear because I know that some people are gonna get say oh you know it's not working Make sure you confirm your email because if you don't confirm your email, um, Plutonium won't let you log in until you confirm your email. Um, what is the difference between this one and Modern Warfare 2's IW4X? Uh, I have to say, loading is much more faster. Uh, you don't have to download the mod. I think it's you do. I'm not 100% sure. But they're currently testing the servers, and I played a, a match of Infected, and my god, it's like. It's hard, but it's a test server, so it's always going to be jugs versus, you know, strikers and stuff like that. So it's pretty simple, but I'll have the links in the description. You guys can definitely download this onto your PC. It's completely free. You're not being charged anything, and if you are asked to char to pay for Plutonium, then you're being scammed. And don't download, don't access their website. Just go directly to the links in the description. This is the from the official website of Plutonium. And you guys can 
pretty much enjoy the uh, uh, enjoy you know platinum, and it's it's really great because the original Modern Warfare 3, the unmodded version, it doesn't have a lot of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 lobbies, so this actually replaces that. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys thought found this useful, please smash that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. I hope you guys see you guys later, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Peace.